Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today is going to be an update video on some new things I've tried, or viewers have taught me, and may save you some time, money, or just simply make things easier. So let's go ahead and get started. About five videos back, we were talking about the Nest Buy 4 SSD boot. Towards the end of that video, I showed you a 3D printed cartridge shell by Denierto Designs. Instead of using his design for the ones that I printed up, I decided I wanted to go ahead and support his work. And I'm glad I did. I went to his Etsy store, and I scrolled down and selected the color. I went ahead and went with the gold color. He has since restocked, so there's plenty of stock there available now. But I picked the gold and I uh, went ahead and selected to print a label with it as well. And then he's got a huge list of all the different labels you can choose from. For example, I'll select Super Mario Brothers. So I simply looked up the label name and typed it into the comment field and hit the Add to Cart button. In my opinion, the prices are very reasonable as you can't get these direct from Retroflag. So for $14.11, you can have a complete set sent to you. Mine took about three weeks, and once it arrived, this is what it looks like. And doesn't that look beautiful? It's designed to fit a two and a half inch SSD drive, which is the same drive used in the Nez Pi 4 case. If you don't have a 3D printer, or if you do have one and just don't feel like messing with it, this is a great place to go ahead and pick up a cartridge shell for your Nez Pi 4 case. And it includes the screws, which was very nice and unexpected. While I was at it, I went ahead and picked up this PNY 250GB SSD drive just for this case, and so I can play around with some other operating systems on the Raspberry Pi 4. So yeah, you just take that and put the cartridge shell on top of it, line up the holes, and there's two different size screws, the larger one and the smaller one. The larger one is used to hold the SSD drive to the cartridge shell. So we'll go ahead and screw those two screws on. And then after that, you want to take the smaller screws and go ahead and put those in all four of the little holes there on the side. Be careful not to tighten them too tight. It is plastic and it could strip it out. And once the assembly is complete, this is what it looks like. And that looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and try it out in the Nest Pi 4 case and just make sure it all fits in there. Here's the cartridge that I had printed up. The quality of the label that I put on here looks way different than the one from Denierto Designs. His looks much more professional and is just a beautiful cartridge overall. Alright, so let's check it out in the Nest Pi 4 case. Make sure it fits. Yep. Looks good. Let's go ahead and remove it. So if you'd like to pick up an extra shell for your Nest Pi 4 case, well, I'll put a link down below where you can go check out Denierto Designs. I recently showed you how to set up the Argon 1 case, and I used this USB 3.0 to M.2 external chassis in order to accomplish that goal, but the reality is you don't really need to use this. It wasn't until FAA had let me know in the comments in the video that there's an easier way. Simply remove the dongle. You'll see the two Raspberry Pi ports up at the top and this bottom one. Simply pick up a USB type A to type A cable like this one. Make sure it's for USB 3.0, which has the blue on the inside. Go ahead and plug it to the bottom, which is your M.2 SSD, assuming it's already installed in the case and plug it into your computer. From there, I'm using Disk Genius in order to access the SSD. Since my particular SSD is set up for EXT4, which is not normally readable by Windows, but if you simply want to write an operating system using Raspberry Pi Imager this way, you certainly can. Just select the Argon 40 M.2 SSD and select the operating system. I hope you found this tip helpful and maybe save you a few bucks as well. In my last video, I mentioned that I wasn't exactly thrilled about the joysticks on the Odroid Go Super. 
and several viewers recommended I pick up some of these cover pads for the PlayStation Vita. So I did. I went ahead and ordered a set, and this is what it looks like with all the different styles. I went here and uh, pressed each one of them, see which one felt the best, and decided to go with the ones on the far right. Getting them installed was a little bit tricky. I kind of bent the lip there a little bit and put it around the super sharp edges of this little joystick and used a jeweler screwdriver in order to get it over the flaps. So it took a little bit of playing with and eventually I did get it. Here's a quick look at it from the profile. And yeah, that's going to work out pretty good, I think. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the left hand side. That one went a lot faster. And now we'll do a quick test with Tekken 3. And yeah, the joysticks are much more comfortable than what they were before. I think it's well worth the 8 or $9 that I spent on it. One additional quick update regarding Botocera. In the review video, version 30 was not yet available as a stable download. Now it is, so you should be able to update. But when I did, it seemed to sit there for about an hour, not doing anything. I eventually powered it off and back on, and it seemed to be fine after that. Another quick tip in Botocera, if you hit start and go all the way down to system settings and move all the way down until you see the developer option right here, go ahead and select that and scroll down again a little ways further and you'll see a switch A, B buttons in emulation station. This is very handy if you have a hard time with pressing A or B, you can Go ahead and swap those two buttons. Again, it's only an emulation station. Your games will continue to function normally, so no worries there. To do a proper shutdown of the device, press Start, move down to Quit, and select Shutdown to properly shut down your device. Well, that's it for another video. I hope you found it helpful, or maybe even saved you a little bit of money. There's so much more coming, I can't wait to share it with you. If you enjoyed this video, please click the Like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.